Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the TI-84 to help you to find um, a sine equation that will pass through um, a bunch of points that you um, we are going to enter in the calculator. So we call that regression. Okay, so you can see that um, in exercise 13L, which I hope you guys have already completed. You see the word here, regression. Right? Regression means it's similar to kind of the line of best fit when, uh, when we learned about it when we were young. So it's similar to that, right? So where you're gonna you're gonna put in a bunch of points, a bunch of data, uh, which are the tables that you have. You see here. So we have three uh, three tables here. Where and then and then we're gonna enter these values in the calculator, and we're gonna get we're gonna get a bunch of a bunch of points, right? Um, and then the calculator will automatically generate a sine equation for us. So we call that regression. But keep in mind, please keep in mind that the equation that we have, that the calculator is going to give us, it is possible that not all points will fall on the line. Okay, so let me repeat that. It is possible for uh, the equation that the calculator gives you to not pass through all of the points okay so when we, when we talk about regression it is something that is um, a very a pretty good estimate but it might not be exact okay okay so without further ado let's get started so um, turn on your calculator and you'll see this main, the main page now what I want you to do is go to click on second and click on y equals 2 that will bring us to stat plot Right, so second y equals you will go to stat plot and then let's turn on but right now the plot uh, stat plot is off and typically we we keep it off okay, typically we keep it off but for now because I'm gonna have a bunch of points I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you guys how to find the regression regression function uh, with question number one so I'm going to turn off plot one okay Turn it off, sorry, turn it on, and you see that we have scatter plot, um, a line graph, bar graph, and then all different types of graphs, right? For now, we are gonna we're gonna be putting down these points, so we are gonna use scatter plot. Uh, my x, my x will be l1, and my y will be l2. Okay, so that's good, um, and everything else we just stay there. And now let's go to step. If you go to stat, go to edit, and let me clear all this. So previously, I already had a bunch of um, a bunch of data. So how do you clear stuff? You go up to L1 and click on clear, and you see that um, L1 goes to everything that L1 is now being erased. You click on enter. There you go. Okay, so let's erase L2 as well. So go up to L2 clear enter so everything is cleared out so now I'm going to put in 0 0 0.5 1 1 1.5 all of this all of the X values under L1 and all of the Y values under L2 so you uh, please make sure you take your calculator and follow along Okay, so that's my X, and let's go with my Y. Oh, sorry about that.
please make sure that your um, your entries, the number of entries in your L1 should match your number of entries in L2. So here we have um, 11. We have the total of 11 X values. So we should have a total of 11 Y values in the calculator. Okay, so just be careful when you're entering the numbers in your, in your list. Okay. So that's it. Um, just to double check, give me a second here. I need to double check if everything is good. And you should always double check as well. So it seems like everything's everything's all good. So now I'm not going. I'm not going to click on graph. I'm going to go to my window, okay? Because well, when we use a calculator to help us to see the graph, it is very important that we are looking at the right section of the graph. So right now, uh, my minimum x, my minimum x is zero. So I'm going to give myself some space, maybe some negative five. My maximum x is five. Um, I'll give, uh, give myself some space, maybe some, maybe say 10. The x max is going to be 10. My minimum is 2.2. .2. So I'm going to go with, um, just say negative, negative 1. Just give myself some space again. For one, y max is 11.8. So maybe go with 15. And now I can go to my graph. And we should see this points, um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 points, 11 sets of data. Um, this is good. Okay, so this is a scatter plot. All right, this is the scatter plot. Now we are going to find, ask the calculator to help us to find the regression function. So this is when you go to stat, go to stat, and go to calc, and then we're going to scroll down. Scroll down, down, down until we see something that called uh, sign regression. Sign regression. Okay, so click on that, and you should see this window. Now, um, depending on what version of your um, your software is, I think most of you guys, uh, the newer model should see this window. If not, Please come see me and I'll help you out, all right? Or you can do some Google. Just Google a little bit. You should be able to find some tutorial video that will show you how to, um, what to do when you get to this page, okay? So I'm going to continue. The iteration here is, iterations means, um, so if you, we're we just going to keep that value as 3. But what that means is how accurate do you want this to be? So if I pump the value up, if I increase the value, that is going to increase my accuracy. But uh, there's a cost. You will, your calculator will take forever. It take you take a long time, maybe five, maybe five minutes or even more, just to come up with the equation. So for the purpose of this course, math itself, keeping that three is good enough, All right? Your X is my L1, that's correct. Your Y is my L2, that's also correct. Um, we don't have to worry about the period. Now, this store regression equation, that's what that means. So the calculator is asking you, where do you want to store it? So typically, uh, we store equations under Y equals, right? So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to store, ask the, ask the calculator to store the equation under y1 okay so when once the calculator calculate had calculated the, the equation sign equation uh, it will automatically save it under y1 and then we just go calculate and then hit enter again and that's it so this is your equation okay so we have a times my A is 5.03 times sine of B is 3.14 X plus 1.27 plus 7. So this is the equation 
if I go to my y equals now, I will see that equation there. Okay, so um, this is the equation, the regression equation um, that the calculator found for us. And now if you go to graph, you see uh, the calculator drawing the line and that line is going to pass through many of the points right? but if you zoom in but because even with the zoom right now we, we can we can see that the line doesn't really pass to the maximum point so let's zoom in I'm gonna zoom box so I'm gonna zoom box and say I'm gonna zoom into this section just to kind of see a better picture, a big picture of it, more detailed picture. Yeah, so you see that the, the graph doesn't pass to the maximum or the minimum. It's off by a little bit, but it's only a little bit, right? So that's it. Um, when we are finding regression functions, the calculator is very useful. Um, so make use of it. However, from my experience, it is it's not very often where the question will ask you guys to use this uh, regression function in the calculator to help you to solve a problem. Normally, you will have to find it by yourself. Okay, so this is a cool technique, a very useful skill, but unfortunately, is not you you will not be asked to do it too often in fact very rarely yeah you, you will you will only I haven't seen any past paper questions where they ask you guys to use this okay so please make sure you know how to get the equation for this <coughs> manually right so if you need help with that please come see me as soon as possible um, and that's it this is it so now, some of you guys, let's say today, remember uh, if you if you rewind this video back to the very beginning, I told you guys to 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 do something with the stat plot. Right? We turn that on. Let's say if, if today it's off. Okay, I say today it's off, and I'm go to my I go to my stat. And then uh, let me clear the equation. I'm going to repeat pretty much the whole process again, but with so my equation is now cleared. But I'm going to and I'm, I'm going to repeat everything, but with the stat plot off. Okay, and we'll see what happens. So as you can see, my tables are there already, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, if I go to calc, calc and I go to sine regression, so I'm finding the equation. I'm trying to find the equation. Everything is good. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna save the equation to y1, and I go to calc. I'll get the equation, but when I go to the graph, you see that I do not. I only see the I only I only see the line. I only see the line, but I won't see the points. Okay, so if you don't see the points, most likely it's because you did not turn the stat plot on. So just go back to your stat plot and then turn it on. Go back to your graph again. You will see the you will see the points there. Okay, so make sure you um, remember all these buttons that you have to click. It is very important, okay? Alright, I hope you guys find this video helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.